Welcome to Barnstable Today. I'm Nick Cortez. Just a reminder that full-length meetings, special events, and every program we air here on Channel 18 is available to view online. You can find it all in the town's video archives at town.barnstable.ma.us. After another lengthy and acrimonious public hearing at Barnstable High School's Knight Auditorium, the town council last Thursday made some big decisions on how to move forward with a sewer expansion program. The council voted to implement a 50% betterment policy for all homeowners who will see sewer pipes installed on their roads. Also adopted were the local option rooms and meals taxes with the revenue to be applied exclusively to the sewer program. But the future of sewers and private roads in the town will be decided in large part by us, the residents, as the council voted to create two ballot questions that will ask voters to accept property tax increases to cover the rest of the sewer debt and to create a $3 million private roads taking and repairs program. After the public hearing had closed, the council had its chance to respond, beginning with Councillor Hank Farnham, who laid out for the residents of Stewart's Creek, who remain wary of the sewer expansion that has already begun in their neighborhood, what the alternative would be if the council chose to do nothing. Councillor James Tinsley went on to explain why he believes that the town must act, not only on a sewer expansion program, but on private road repairs as well. Later, Councillor Jan Barton added to Tinsley's a call to action of her own.
But what happens if voters don't feel the same way and strike down the debt exclusion ballot questions? Where does that leave the Stewart's Creek neighborhood? who will have sewer costs to deal with no matter what. Here's Town Council President Fred Shirogotis. The ballot questions on the debt exclusions for the sewer and private roads programs will be voted on by town residents in November. Now, let's take a look at this week's meetings. At 7 p.m., the school committee meets in the town hall hearing room. On Wednesday, July 21st, the Renewable Energy Commission meets at 5.30 in the town hall hearing room. At 7 p.m., the Hyannis Main Street Waterfront Historic District Commission meets in the Selectman's Conference Room. At 7.30, the Shellfish Committee meets at the MEA offices on Finney's Lane. On Thursday, July 22nd, Site Plan Review has a hearing in the Town Hall Hearing Room at 9 a.m. Well, that's all for now. I'm Nick Cortese, and we'll see you next time on Barnstable Today.